Kai, I am Ivan Stan and I will talk to you about lens motors. Lens motors control focus, zoom and aperture on your camera lenses. I bought three of these systems for my own use. I have two camera rigs based on Ronin S and Ronin M. And the reason why I got three is because the first two couldn't do the job. I got DJI focus motor for Ronin S, which was $170. Tilta Nucleus Nano, which was $250. And last but not the least, Tilta Nucleus M, which was $1,200 plus. Let me tell you my experience with uh, these three systems, problems and flaws that I encountered and whether I would recommend and buy them again. Let's roll the intro. First, a word of caution. Most people are trying to control their focus with a lens motor. Let's take a look at the majority of the lenses in the market today, such as this one. Uh, this focus ring is actually digitally controlled. Camera decides where your focus position is going to be based on how much you turn this barrel. The movement of the barrel is not linear. If you move the barrel slowly, the focus will only move a little bit. However, if you move it fast, it's gonna move a lot. That makes it impossible to uh, determine your focus by the position of the barrel. It means that you cannot precisely position your focus uh, unless you have a mechanical lens that's uh, using manual focus. So if you're trying to do focus pulling, make sure that you have appropriate lens, otherwise you're just wasting your money. These companies that are selling the motors never mention this, but I think most people buying uh, the products today actually do not have suitable lenses. There were few requirements I needed uh, fulfilled, such as easy control of the unit. While carrying my camera rig, I am using both arms, so I am limited to using only index finger or thumb to control the motor. So I needed the accessible controls. The next requirement was speed control of the motor. Let's take a look at this control unit from Tilta. I need to be able to position focus or zoom with a short turn of the knob. I cannot really make long turns. If the unit does not have speed adjustment, it makes it unusable for me. Here are all three motors for size and weight comparison. DJI motor weighs 190 grams. Nucleus Nano weighs about 90 grams. Nucleus M weighs about 220 grams. Nucleus Nano is by far the smallest, the lightest, but also the least powerful motor. DJI motor and Nucleus M motor are similar in weight, however Nucleus M motor is slightly larger. As for the power, they were able to handle any lens I tried them with, however the DJI motor is noisier. DJI and Nucleus Nano will come with two rubber rings to use on your lenses. Nucleus M comes with no rings. This is DJI focus motor, you're getting a motor a power cable and a mounting bracket uh, with a 15 millimeter rod which you can use to uh, mount the motor onto your camera rig. This is the DJI focus wheel which comes with a Ronin S. This is the power cable that connects directly to Ronin S and this focus motor can only be used on Ronin S. The problem with the focus wheel is it needs to be attached to one side of the Ronin. It can be here if you have a command unit, it's gonna be further out or it's gonna be here on this side. If I'm holding the gimbal with one hand, this knob is quite difficult to reach with my thumb. And if you have a command unit, it is impossible to reach. You have to use two hands, one to turn the knob and one to hold the gimbal, which makes it more difficult to precisely control the pull. If this knob was wireless, you could position it so you can hold the gimbal and rotate the knob with one hand. 
Another problem with DJI Focus Wheel is that you get absolutely no adjustments of speed of the pull. You might need to turn this knob five times to get into your desired position. While you're carrying a gimbal, it's quite difficult to do that. If you need to do precise focus pulling, you cannot really use the DJI focus motor. It doesn't have any speed adjustments. It requires two hands to operate, one to hold the gimbal and the other to rotate the wheel. However, this is a very powerful motor. If you do not really need precision movements, you can use it as either a zoom motor or aperture motor. This is Tilta Nucleus Nano, small lens motor powered through USB. You're getting DJI Ronin S cable and the USB cable. Wireless focus wheel powered by a single 3.7 volt battery. You're getting two batteries and very unusual charger. Good side of the Nucleus Nano motor is its light weight and small size. It also does not have a lot of power and might struggle with heavier lenses. Another good point of Nano system is the wireless control. In this case, I have positioned the controls to use with my thumb while carrying the gimbal. However, just like DJI Focus motor for Ronin S, Tilta Nucleus Nano has no speed settings. So you need to do a full rotation on the wheel to achieve full rotation on the lens barrel. And there is no way to change that. It makes it very difficult to use the system while carrying the camera rig with both hands. One detail. This is the handlebar from Nucleus M. And this is the control wheel from Nucleus Nano. Now, if you're using the Nano motor with this control wheel, you do not get any speed adjustment options. However, you can use this handlebar with a Nano motor, in which case you can use speed adjustment options. What that means is, Tilta has deliberately disabled these options for the control wheel of the Nano, thus forcing you to buy the more expensive product. Nucleus M comes in a cool box and inside it you will find two lens motors, a master control unit, two handlebars. One handlebar comes with a joystick and the other joystick is optional. Additional mounting brackets for handlebars. There is a rosette style adapter and 25 to 35 millimeter rod adapter. Power cables to connect motors to P-TAP power supply. If you wish to connect motors directly to your Ronin S, you can do so by purchasing a different cable. Also, you will not get any mounting brackets or mounting rods. You need to get those separately. Build quality of the system is superior. Every component not only seems to be well built, but also looks great. To control the unit, you will use either main controller or the handlebar. Let's take a look at the main controller. You have three controls. On the side, there is a joystick and it's used for zoom control. The big wheel is used for focus control. And the small wheel is used for aperture control. Both of these units are wireless. So you can position them wherever you want. Now, let's take a look at the handlebar. The handlebar has two controls. There is a joystick, which is used by your thumb. It controls the zoom. And on the side, there is a knob. You can move the knob using your index finger and it can control either focus or aperture. Now, the good side. Both controls have adjusted speed. So you can adjust the zooming speed in the settings. And also for the knob, there is a switch here just under the knob that changes the speed of the movement by 500%. This gives you a lot of flexibility in controlling your motors. To demonstrate what is a speed adjustment, take a look at this wheel and see how slowly it rotates. I set the zoom speed to slow. Let's take a look at the focus motor. Look how much faster it moves. While the handlebar is wireless, you can still use it to power the motors if you do not have a suitable power supply lying around. Currently I am using a Nucleus M on my Ronin S. Two motors, one is controlling uh, the zoom, the other is controlling the focus. The handlebar is on the back side, 
and uh, it doubles as a uh, grip and I can also use the controls on the handlebar. DJI Focus Motor for Ronin S. Would I buy this again or can I recommend it to anyone? Not really, for two reasons. There are no controls of the motor, you cannot adjust any settings and the controls are not wireless so you cannot position them where you need them to be. Tilta Nucleus Nano. I would not buy it again, however I could recommend it to someone looking for a cheaper solution that has flexible controls. You might use it as a zoom motor and you can position the control knob where you want it to be. Finally, Tilta Nucleus M is the only system that fulfilled my requirements of flexible control placement and uh, I can adjust the settings. So this is the system I would buy again and I can recommend it. The downside is the price, it's much more expensive than the other two systems, but the good side is it actually works and it looks great. I hope you liked my video and I hope you learned something uh, new from it and uh, that uh, manufacturers of these devices have learned something from it. I hope they will see it uh, so that they can improve their products. If you have any comments or questions, please direct them in the comments box below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you did not like this video, you can also subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. Till next time, bye bye.